Hey there, how's everyone doing? It's the Blu-ray Hunter here. I got a video update for y'all. I got some DVDs and a Blu-ray from a pawn shop. So I'm going to do a quick update on that. And I wanted to start it off by giving a few shout-outs. Recently, Mood616, who's an awesome guy, gave me an awesome shout-out on his channel. And I wanted to return the favor and do three shout-outs. Some of these guys you might have heard me say before, but I'm going to shout them out anyway. We've got an awesome community here on YouTube, and um, I like it, and they've helped me grow, and I want to help them grow also. So I'm going to start off with the toy collector. He actually, I had actually been messaging with him before I started doing videos, and he told me I should do videos. We both live in the same state, and he told me I should start doing videos, so he's actually one of the reasons I started doing videos, so I wanted to shout him out, and I'm going to put the links to all three of these guys um, in the description so y'all can find them and check them out but the toy collector he's an awesome guy he does a lot of um, update videos and unboxings and he's got an amazing collection so check him out mood 616 like I said he's a he's an awesome guy he's into horror mostly I'm pretty sure and his horror collections insane he's got so many DVDs and so many blu-rays and if you're into horror or you want to get into horror, he's the guy to go to to watch. And um, He's kind of gotten me into horror now, so a lot of these DVDs I'm about to show you are kind of me starting to figure out what horror movies I like. So, And then the third one is Zach Hesse Reviews, who's relatively new. He's been on YouTube for about a month, so about the same amount of time I've been. And he started doing um, individual movie reviews. And, uh, he's an awesome guy, and he, he messaged me, and I told him he should do a collection video. His collection's not the biggest, but I think it's going to be really fun to watch it grow, you know, watch him do update videos, and see it grow over time. So check him out also. Um, yeah, all three of these guys, really cool guys, kind of underrated, and, I mean, I could list all the big names, but I wanted to give shout-outs to the to the guys who are just either getting started or that a lot of people might not know about. So check everyone out that I just listed and let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with a Blu-ray. Um, <clears throat> went to a pawn shop to pick up a few uh, horror movies. This is a good way for me to figure out what I want on Blu-ray. It's a good way for me to be able to buy 20 movies I've never seen before for a dollar each and you know give them a watch before I decide to spend more money on the Blu-rays. So this Blu-ray on top was like two dollars and fifty cents, and the rest were all dollar twenty-five. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna need y'all's help with some of these. Um, Jennifer's Body, just a crazy movie with Megan Fox. Who it's hard for me to find attractive after this movie. <laughs> yeah, I've I've seen this one before. So two dollars and fifty cents. So wanted to pick it up. Like I said, trying to get into horror. Uh, some of these are not horror. I'm going to start with the ones that are not horror. Uh, Jet Li's Fearless. It's a nice action movie that I wanted to check out. Um, I've never seen this. So I'll have fun watching it. Let me know what you think about that. <clears throat> Almost Famous. I've been looking at the bootleg edition Blu-ray of this for a while. But uh, I've never picked it up. So for a dollar I figured I'd give it a watch. And if I like it, I'll go get the nice edition on blu-ray so almost famous let me know what y'all think about that one courageous um i don't know i uh i walked into my family watching the end of this and they told me i should watch it i don't know much about it it's uh supposed to be a pretty good movie i don't know let me know what you guys know about it though supersize me pretty crazy documentary about a guy who eats mcdonald's a lot like every day it's about what happens says he eats it so for a buck you know i'll give it a watch it's a pretty good documentary all right here we go getting into the blind buys evil dead dvd one dollar i have evil dead 2 and i have army of darkness so i've been wanting to watch them and i haven't been able to find the evil dead blu-ray and I didn't want to start on Evil Dead 2, so I decided to pick this up for a dollar so I could watch it. And everyone refers to this as a classic. I'm going to go on a little bit of rant here. 
I was born in 1990, so I wasn't alive in the 80s. I've only been watching movies for, you know, since I was like 14 or 15. I'm 22 now, so about seven years. So, movies like this, I don't understand why people call it a classic. I'm not hating on it. I enjoyed it, but it's... The reason I enjoyed it is because it was super cheesy, and like, I don't know, the special effects were awful, but it was a fun movie. I don't know if that's why people consider it a classic. Please pitch in and let me know. I'm definitely not saying it's terrible. I don't want to get hate comments because of that. Moods, let me know what it is about movies like this. Is it because they're cheesy and fun to watch, or is it because they're actually a good movie for the 80s? I don't know. I'm not sure, but that's the evil dad. Um... Road Warrior and Mad Max. I'm not sure if this is a horror movie, but for a dollar, I've been meaning to check these out. I don't know anything about this, so let me know. Uh, the, the Fog. I'm sure this is super cheesy. That's what I was going for, kind of really cheesy horror movies. So, there we go. The Fog. Queen of the Damned. Another blind buy. So, I don't know much about this. My fiance has seen this. She she said it was alright, so I picked it up. Boogeyman. I'm trying to keep this video short, so I'm going to go a little quick. Um, don't know anything about this. I mean, I've heard of it. Never seen it. Prom Night. This is kind of newer. Where is the date? I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is newer horror movie. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of the rest of these, I don't think. Fear. Just grabbed every dollar horror movie I could find, basically. Secret Window. I think I've actually seen this. Yeah, I've seen this a long time ago, so I'll check it out again. The Frighteners. Look at this cover. How could I not buy this? Absolutely ridiculous. What is going on? I have no idea. If y'all have seen this movie, please let me know what the hell's going on. <laughs> A dollar. What can I say? Pulse. It's about, uh, I'm pretty sure it's about, like, electronics killing people. I don't know. Let me know. The Omen. This looks pretty creepy. Horror movies with kids always freak me out. The little kids always freak me out. House of the Dead. No idea. One dollar. So if y'all have seen these movies, please let me know. I'm trying to move into some horror movies here. Picked up, um, pretty sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17 movies. Um... All of them except Jennifer's Body and Secret Window were blind buys. And I saw Evil Dead after. Oh, I've seen Super Size Me too, but... Yeah, sorry my monitor turned back on there. It's kind of bright. Yeah, um... Everyone who's watching this video, if y'all want to, do what I did and shout out three people who you think are underrated. Get their names out there, help them advertise a little bit, get them some more views and subscribers and stuff like that. And if I shouted you out... Um, maybe you could make a video too. I don't know. Get the whole community making some uh, shout out videos here. Alright guys, that's the end of the DVDs. Next I'm going to do a little Blu-ray update. Thanks.